Okay, in this video, we are going to look at AC current detection. Now you can see I have a breadboard here with an Arduino Nano mounted on it. And there's an LED, and there's a resistor, a current limiting resistor. And that's connected to pin 13 of the Arduino Nano, the GPIO. So if I activate GPIO pin 13, I could turn on the LED. So I could do that, I could send it a command from my keyboard. And there's the LED on. And I could turn it off. It's another command. LED goes off. Now instead of turning on an LED on my breadboard, I could turn on an LED inside this device here. So this is a solid state relay. It's an AC solid state relay. It will switch 120 volts at 10 amps. And you can see the input, pins 3 and pins 4. So inside this relay, there's a resistor in series with an LED from pin 3 to pins 4, the same as it had on my breadboard. So if I hook that up to my Arduino Nano and activate the LED inside uh, this, this, this relay, the LED will come on, it will shine on the phototransistor, and it will activate a triac. And it will switch the output. So we'll have our power here and our load on this side. The triac will switch the power to the load when the LED comes on. So, I, so instead of turning on LED on my, on my breadboard, I could actually turn an LED on on this relay and I could actually activate 120 volt AC load. Now after I do that, I want to know, I want feedback to see if, if, the, if I have current flowing in my load. I want to know if, if it's actually switched properly. So what I could do, I could actually monitor the current on the wire using what they call a current transformer. And I'll put that on the wire. There's a current transformer, and you can see it's totally isolated from the circuit, so there's no feedback into the, into the microcontroller. There's no high voltage feedback. So when the current is flowing through this wire, it's going to induce a current in this, tra in this transformer, and I'll get an output on these two pins, which I could feed into an interface circuitry, and then feed that into the Arduino Nano. And I'll get feedback if I have current flowing in my load. Okay, here's my current transformer that I'm using as a current sensor. And the part number is CT103. Now these are pretty inexpensive. I got this one online for a dollar. Now inside this device is a toroid. It's a ferrite donut with a winding, a coil winding. And the two ends come out the bottom. These are the two ends of the coil. And that's our secondary winding. And then the primary winding of this transformer is a wire that goes through the center of the toroid. Now if we put a current through this wire at 5 amps, we'll get 5 milliamps flowing at the output of the sensor. Now this is a step-up transformer. It's a thousand to one step-up transformer. So, the, so there'll be a high voltage and output. So we can't leave this open circuit. We have, to, we have to shunt it with a resistor. That resistor is called a burden resistor. So we put a resistor across the output. And the higher the current that we feed through the toroid, the lower the resistance has to be. So we'll get a voltage drop across that resistor. And then we can feed that into our interface circuit. And that can be fed into our microcontroller. OK, here's my interface circuit together with my current transformer, my current sensor, mounted on my breadboard. Now the heart of the circuit is an op amp. It's a CA3140. It's a CMOS op amp. And the load that I'm using is a light bulb. And it's an LED light bulb. So when I apply power to the light bulb, my current transformer is going to sense the current flowing through the wire. And it's going to output a voltage. And it'll be about 600 millivolts to about 1 volt peak to peak. that will be fed into the op amp and I'll trigger the LED. So if I turn on the load, if I apply power to the light bulb, you can see my LED comes on, indicating that it sees current flowing through the wire. If I turn it off, it goes off. So in my case, I just want to know if there's current flowing through to my load. So I can adjust this potentiometer, that's my sensitivity adjust. And I can adjust the burden resistor, that's a resistor across the current sensor. I can adjust it to a certain trigger point, so it will trigger my amperage that I know my load is drawing. Now the output of my interface is that LED, so it's either high or low. And that's being fed into the Arduino Nano, and that's feedback into my code. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of my current sensing interface that I built on my breadboard. Now you can see the heart of the circuit is the CA3140, that's a CMOS op amp. And if we look down on the bottom, we can see our current sensing transformer. And you can see we have a 150 ohm resistor across the output. That's our burden resistor. That's directly across the output of the transformer. So when the transformer senses current, we're going to get about a 600 millivolt peak-to-peak -peak signal coming out of the transformer. 
And that's going to be capacity coupled to this 0.1 microfarad capacitor up to the op amp. Now the op amp is going to trigger on the positive half cycles of the current sensing output. So we're going to have a square wave come out of pin 6. So we take that square wave, we feed it through a charge pump, through this diode, and a resistor in this capacitor, and the capacitor will charge up, and it will trigger this MOSFET, and it will get a low output feeding our GPIO input of our Arduino Nano whenever we have current sensed through our current sensor. So that's the circuit there. Now I've used this circuit before. It's my, it's my typical sensing circuit, my sensor circuit, and I've used that in other videos. So I'll link a video in the description box below that actually goes through this in more detail so you can see how this circuit works to sense current and feed an output to a microcontroller. Okay, now you know how this interface circuit works so you could build your own on your breadboard. Now you don't have to use the exact same components that I'm using. Any general purpose op-amp will work. There's many different other types of current transformers out there that will work in the circuitry. And if you want to go further you can measure the actual value of current that's flowing through the wire by calibrating the output voltage of the transformer and match it to the value of current flowing through the, through the wire. But this circuit will get you going to experiment with current transformers and you could hook it up to your Arduino Nano to detect current in your projects.